uh, from my point of view, uh, building passion in companies is one of the biggest uh, challenges and opportunities. I, we've done a lot of research around passion. Uh, and from our perspective, passion becomes important uh, not just for the kind of uh, human potential uh, dimensions, but focusing on just business performance. If you want passion, if you want performance in your business under in an environment where we have increasing pressure, I think all of us need performance and rapidly improving performance. And uh, from our research, at least you don't get that without high degrees passion among your employees, among your workers. So I think part of it has to do with uh, nurturing passion that already exists. There are workers who are passionate about what they do, and yet they often find their passion is discouraged um, and suppressed as opposed to embraced and rewarded. Um, And they become examples to other people. If, If somebody with passion is Put down um, or or uh, disillusioned as a result of pursuing their passion, uh, other people take notice and say, "Well, that's not good. It doesn't help to advance you if you if you have passion." Um, so I think part of it is is encouraging those who already have passion. Part of it is um, finding ways to redefine jobs. One of the things I, I encounter around passion is people say, well, yes, you can be passionate if you're a software uh, engineer or if you're a product designer, but if you're doing very mundane, repetitive tasks, like the front line of an assembly uh, manufacturing operation, how could you ever be passionate about that kind of work? That's not reasonable, not, uh, not feasible. And yet, uh, the example I like to give is what Toyota did uh, in their uh, assembly line operations where they redefined the job and they said, yes, you have some repetitive tasks, that is part of the job, but your real job is to identify problems. There are problems that surface all the time, every day on the assembly line. Um, your job is to identify those problems and to solve those problems. And you will be recognized for doing that. Um, and by the way, if you can't solve the problem, we will put a pull cord next to your station. And you pull that cord. If you cannot solve the problem, the entire assembly line will stop. Uh, and we will bring together a team of people to work with you to solve that problem. And you will be a hero for having pulled that cord. If you've identified a problem. Um, And passion levels went way up in the Toyota assembly line because now people saw themselves as creative problem solvers who were making a difference to the operation of the company. They could stop the entire assembly line. Uh, And so I think that there's a major lesson there that you can, you can develop passion in people who may not have it to begin with. Um, And you can, uh, develop passion in virtually any worker in any part of the company, not just the creative knowledge worker.